I've been trying to watch John Wick with my girl, like the whole three of them, because I missed the train. I missed the train. Like when I grew up, I will, we had all other sorts of movies, which were, were at least equally stupid. One was pretty good. What was it? Did they kill their, his puppy that he had from his wife or some shit? Wasn't it this movie? I don't know, people. It's all a blur because because it's so fucking like it's fun. I get it. But it's so, so overrated. Like, where it's impressive, it's it's on a technical level. And you can clearly see the the success taken over as you go up in the movies. Because uh, it got all popular. But it's so overrated. It's technically good. It's impressive of how the stuntmen, uh, you know, pull off their jobs. And um, if you guys don't see, I recommend a YouTube channel. It's called The Corridor Crew. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know about it. But for those of you who don't, uh, just write The Cor uh, Corridor Crew on YouTube and follow them. Subscribe. Because uh, they're VFX artists. They have many series where they do original content and then they kind of show how they've done it. They do all sorts of VFX challenges with themselves as a team. All sorts of funny movies and creative, a lot of them. But... Uh, they also have these mini series called Stuntman React, and it's basically they invite famous. Uh, well, stuntman can only get as famous as Bruce Lee, I guess, because he was doing his own stunts, right? Or Jackie Chan, but they react. There's like uh, nowadays uh, stuntmen who come in the show and they react to thing things they they've been in, and also to all sorts of Bollywood movies and all this shit. And also they have another series called VFX Artists React. And in that one, I think uh, they had an episode about John Wick or was it in the stuntman one? Doesn't matter. The point is, it's very technically uh, like it's it, it was impressive to see through what efforts they went through to uh, pull up those stunts. A lot of them being practical stunts and not so much VFX as you'd think in a movie such as this. But definitely watch them to gain a new respect. But besides that... It's a piece of trash. Come on, people. What the fuck is this? I mean, I love Keanu as much as the next person. And from what I can tell, he seems like a like complex, thoughtful human being. But that movie is dog shit, people. What are we doing here? Like, he gets shot. Like, we made it through the through first movie, and that was pretty good. I think we saw that. No, definitely we saw that in one outing without having sex or anything, but <laughs> uh, but the second one, we keep chopping at it. Like, it's... I don't know. I feel like I've been watching it forever. <laughs> I think we started it when we moved... before we moved in this apartment. <laughs> it's like every scene, I can't help like roll my eyes. The dude fucking falls by... There's this scene where John Wick and this black dude, they fall off like it must have been like at least six dozen stairs, right? Like 80 stairs. Next scene, they end up in the hotel where, where it was neutral ground, the continental, right? Now the fuck, the, the, the black dude's suit looked like he was just pulled off, off the rack, like custom fitted. Everything was shiny. He had a little like blood spurt here but the rest of him was just like freshly creamed and shit and and like his eyebrows plucked what the fuck dude come on come on john wicks gets fucking shot a billion times it was his jacket and finally he does get shot in the so he had such a like a like a sports jacket like an like an elegant semi-elegant like sports jacket and that was bulletproof so every time they got him in the back he like kind of made it but in the front they get him like they open the jacket and shoot it it's like do you have to be fucking cool during these sequences you know what i mean couldn't you just put a fucking zipper on it so you'd be protected in the front too no he had to have the fucking tie in is that a work class like uh chupacabra like the fucking worst assassin and he he's like a an armani model man fuck out of content man right and then there's the other two assassins, like in the second one that we're still watching right now. I think we're about halfway through, but at a certain point, they put, spoiler alert, fucking six years. Uh, they put a bounty on his head, seven million dollars, right? And then they have a sequence where every fucking, like, uh, badass looking assassin in the whole assassin creed or whatever the fuck that is, right? They get the info, it's a huge bond bounty, and 
obviously people getting wind up to go get his ass right but there's this chick playing fucking violin in the metro <laughs> when she gets the sms like literally like an artist artsy chick with a violin and she's also secretly an assassin it's like the stupidest fucking thing ever <laughs> and she gets the sms and then she gets her fucking like violin thingy like it's deadly she also knows how to can kill people with it It's like, is that the best fucking thing? Like, is that the best way for an assassin? I think it ha has it been two minutes. I already said fuck like a thousand times. Come on, Google, give me a break. Everybody will be so sensitive. And y'all know y'all invented the vi virality of porn. Give me a break. All right. And this chick. <laughs> can't even think about it. <laughs> She's in the metro. Do, do you realize that? She's a world-class paid assassin who earns millions of dollars to take life and she's an artiste that in her spare time she's in the metro with the, like a fucking hat that people throw like quarters in <laughs> and she sings what else does she do does she like walk the people's dogs <laughs> you know what i mean like a manhattan park professional dog walker and then she also like <laughs> like kills people because she kind of blends these two jobs she gets the sms about john wick and she kind of like gets her violin like she's ready to rumble but then john wick walks into the same fucking like they're the, all the assassins i feel they were like in a one mile radius of where john wick was taking the metro from it's like really dude like in in like 1.5 minutes he intersects like this sumo dude And then there was this violin chick, like, also, like, writing a book at the same time or whatever the fuck, right? Beating his ass. It's ridiculous. It's, I wish I'd seen the whole thing so I can piss on it more thoroughly. But it's, it's, it's the equivalent of Rambo, people. Like, I know the cycles are meant to be repeat themselves and the newer generations won't ever know, you know, back history unless they actively get interested in it or people make them influencers right i love the history ones but it's sort of like like rambo movies like everything is so meticulously built to be impressive and like tickle the 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 cool factor of every in every little shot like there's this scene when they get on this metro and the metro my girl called it from the future it's like all sorts of like <laughs> magnets and shit and it looks all futuristic with leads and shit on the wall but the the network where all the assassins is like a network and when a bounty is put on the assassin they come through this network like a central like they used to have central you know with the little plug thingies that they have to plug and unplug and that was the like the infrastructure of sending out the bounty so the, these girls will get the bounty and then through those plugs they even had the rotary phones and shit so you mean to tell me this m movie is like this supposed to happen in 2016 or whatever right and like everything is so high tech but the network of which this whole assassin secret enterprise takes place in it's over like one of those phones that if you turn off your radio a bit higher you can hear the fucking conversations <laughs> get the fuck out of here like here's what see, see what i mean like it's it's style over substance that's john wick too at least because i don't know you had to give one the benefit of the doubt i mean i get it people i'm not stupid it's supposed to be stupid and shit but i feel it's like way overrated way overrated right and that's coming from a person who can hardly wait to play cyberpunk featuring also keanu reeves so love keanu the movie is dog shit dude the rambo comparison is on point i agree with you that there's a big problem with the story and with the arc of the characters just like you said flicks made for money not for the art of cinema couldn't agree more my dude couldn't agree more now is it fun Is it fun to like smoke a joint and have your friends over and like admire all that shit and be like, I could pull that off, dude. I could pull that off. And people throwing popcorn at that guy. Like that's fun. So I get it, but it's definitely stupid. 
I wouldn't even say cinematic. I, I, I think that, that word is used too easily nowadays. It's cinematic the way it looks, but also what makes it cinematic worthy is the story that ties it all together. And if that's just a bunch of Lego bricks put together on different colors, then has no flow or like overall arching hit. You know, it's forgettable. In 20 years, John Wick is going to be Rambo and new kids will be like, I don't know, Bionic Joe, <laughs> you know, because then it'll be Bionics and shit and they won't see it in the cinema. They'll see it in their fucking eyes and VR glasses sitting on the couch, but they're in the cinema and they can also hack it to have uh, like a porn star in their lap while they see it in case they get bored. The future is amazing.